Autoimmune conditions are becoming an epidemic around the world, and it's crucial that we add in natural tools to our daily regimen to help regulate that immunity. Today, we are going to talk about Rishi Mushroom. Rishi Mushroom, also known as Reishi, Lingji in China, Manatake in Japan, Ganoderma lucidum, Ganoderma suge, and more. For this video, we will stick to the commonly known and used Rishi Ganoderma lucidum, which is one out of the 219 species of Ganoderma. During the Han Dynasty around 206 BC to 9 AD, the mushroom's name Lingji was first recorded. Ling means spirit or soul, and Ji means plant or in this case fungi. Lingji is depicted to contain a mixture of spiritual potency and immortality. It symbolizes health and well-being, success in life, longevity, and divine-like power. Rishi was given its first binomial name, Boletus lucidus, in 1781 by the English botanist William Curtis. In 1881, Petter Adolf Karsten gave Rishi the genus name Ganoderma. The botanical name Ganoderma lucidum comes from Greek and Latin words. The Greek word ganos meaning shining and derma meaning skin. Ganoderma literally translates to shining skin. The Latin word lucidum means shining. Put together, Ganoderma lucidum roughly translates to shining skin shining. How about we call it shiny fungi? Over 2,000 years ago, the first written description of Rishi was in the book Shennong Ban Kao Jing during the Han Dynasty around 206 BC to 9 AD. It is thought that purple wild Rishi from the White Snake legend is the first of the Rishi species, possibly originating in the Changbai Mountains. Some people also believe Rishi and other wood-eating mushrooms came to Earth from other planets deep in the universe by meteors or cosmic winds. They believe it is of its own form of intelligence, aiding in the development of ecosystems by creating healthy soil in return allowing other plants to grow. It is thought that these extraterrestrial mushrooms are gathering trees' levitational energy, Ormus minerals, information about the Earth, and upgraded genetics from its experiences on Earth. Hmm. Interesting. You like how I said extraterrestrials? <laughs> Rishi has been found in paintings, carvings, buildings, on women's accessories, and on furniture such as the Emperor's Throne. Around 214 BC, the first emperor of the Qin Dynasty heard rumors about this immortality-giving herb growing somewhere in the Eastern Paradise. The emperor sent expeditions of 500 men and 500 women by ship to find this herb of immortality. They never returned. Did they find the herb and keep it for themselves? It is thought that they actually landed in Japan and colonized there. Since Rishi was so rare and strongly valued for its medicinal benefits in China, it was forbidden to common people and mainly only available to the rich and privileged in China. You can find Rishi art at the Forbidden City in Beijing, carved into stone holding the boundaries of the Emperor's Throne, on the Emperor's Throne, and on the heart chakra of the last Emperor's robe, depicting its value to the Emperors over common people. Even folklore regarding Rishi says that if someone was to find the mushroom, they wouldn't tell those closest to them because it was so valuable. This medicine may have been forbidden due to the fact that only two to three trees per 10,000 have the mushroom growing on them. We don't have to worry about that in our time thanks to modern technology. Rishi mushrooms are now mass produced by growing them on hardwood logs, wood chips, and sawdust. I still urge you to learn about foraging reishi in your environment to reap the benefits of wild reishi. It is very rewarding to find wild reishi in the woods. It's actually an amazing feeling. Even though it is readily available in stores, reishi can still be one of the more expensive supplements on the market, especially reishi mushroom spore oil, costing around $150 for a 30-day supply. Be sure to visit brandangoji.com if you're looking for an affordable reishi supplement that doesn't cost hundreds of dollars. Benefits Shen There are two main benefits reishi is commonly known for. The first being associated with Shen. It is thought to tonify Shen, the spiritual element of your psyche. Have you ever noticed someone that has dull eyes, like a cloudy curtain in front of their eyes, and they just don't seem to be consciously all there? 
They seem to be experiencing some form of mental disorder, right? Some people may perceive this dullness in those people's eyes as if they are soulless. According to traditional Chinese medicine, it's actually weak shen, weak mental and spiritual health, how conscious we are, our personality or independent thought, and our general vitality alongside it. Rishi restores that weakness and improves the shine in eyes. If your eyes are already bright, you probably have strong shen and are most likely mentally sound. Shen resides in the heart, therefore Rishi supports the heart, which is also closely related to the health of blood. When Shen is weak, your Jing and Qi are likely weak too. Rishi helps restore Jing, Qi, and Shen. Ultimately, Rishi is known for supporting the heart, liver, lungs, and kidneys, giving the body more energy, but also a calmness to the nervous system. When Shen is disturbed, it oftentimes accompanies insomnia. Since Rishi is mildly calming to the nervous system, it may be able to help improve sleep. Immune Modulator The second commonly known benefit of Rishi is its ability to modulate the immune system because it is an adaptogen. Adaptogens help your body respond to internal and external stress accordingly without ever going to an extreme such as developing autoimmune conditions. Autoimmune conditions are starting to become very common following an urban lifestyle. As urban survivors, we need to slightly back away from the urban life and find natural tools to combat immune disorders, especially autoimmunity. One way to do so is by supplementing with Rishi, preferably before we get sick and have a harder time recovering. Modulating the immune system is vital for these autoimmune conditions and potential new attacks on the immune system. Modulating simply means Rishi has a unique ability to raise the immune system when it is too low, allowing invaders to take over, and also lower it when it is too high, attacking the body. It leaves the immune system right where it needs to be. Besides those two commonly known benefits, there are numerous other uses of Rishi mushroom. I like the way Dr. Hirokazu Kawagishi described Rishi. Lingji has several physiologically active ingredients, so it is like many different medicines in one. Some of the benefits and uses of Rishi mushroom are replenishes Jing, Qi, and Shen, tonifying, enhances vital energy, calms the mind and brings you more into your body, controls blood glucose levels, modulates the immune system, anti-aging, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antihistamine, anti-tumor, kills cancer cells, hepatoprotective, bacteriostasis meaning inhibiting the growth and reproduction of bacteria, strengthens cardiac function, palpitations, improves memory, relieve cough, asthma, and shortness of breath, dizziness, insomnia, anti-ulcer, and more. Rishi used to be based on anecdotal evidence through thousands of years of traditional use. Now there is a large number of scientific literature to support some of those anecdotal claims. There are studies on animal and cell culture models, in vitro assessments, and even some human studies. Even though science doesn't fully understand Rishi, it is still gaining a lot of research credit and becoming more recognized as extremely valuable medicine. Here is what we do know so far based on some of the research. A lot of what I'm going to talk about is quite complicated. I'll write an article explaining them in layman's terms on my website for us to easily decipher the meanings. If I were to describe them here, my video and article would be way too long. So for now, we will keep it short. There are three major physiologically active constituents found in Ganoderma lucidum that gives it its medicinal properties polysaccharides, triterpenes, and peptidoglycans. Polysaccharides. These polysaccharides are mainly known for the immune modulating properties, but there are many more uses that researchers are discovering. Numerous Ganoderma lucidum polysaccharides were found to be anti-inflammatory, hypoglycemic, anti-ulcer, anti-tumorogenic, attenuates exhaustive exercise, immunostimulating, and more. One study using low-dose Ganoderma lucidum polysaccharides tested on mice was found to accelerate recovery of bone marrow cells, red and white blood cells, splenic natural killer cells, and natural killer T cells, enhance T and B cell proliferation responses, cytotoxic T lymphocyte activity, as well as natural killer cell and lymphokine-activated killer cell activity. It also promoted 
phagocytosis and cytotoxicity of macrophages. Take note, this study said low dose, which means high doses may not always be necessary, especially in cases when the nervous system is already too calm. Polysaccharide extraction. Polysaccharides from reishi can be extracted with fermentation, hot water as a tea, or in extract form with the use of hot water, then alcohol. If alcohol is used alone, some constituents may not be extracted. Taking a high quality reishi product in powdered form, in capsules, or as tea is sufficient. Peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans have antiviral activity and immunomodulating properties. Triterpenes. More than 100 triterpenes have been found in reishi, and they are the reason for its bitter taste. More than 50 of those triterpenes were found to be unique to this mushroom. Triterpenes such as ganoderic, ganoderols, ganoderials, ganodermic acids, and lucidenic acids. Ganoderma triterpenes were found to have anti-cancer properties and may be able to be used as alternative cancer therapy. Numerous in vivo animal and human studies prove the polysaccharides in triterpenes are mainly responsible for these chemopreventative and tumoricidal effects. Out of 58 mushrooms tested, Ganoderma lucidum was one of the most effective against cancer. But goji, there are no cures for cancer. These big organizations say so. <sighs> Maybe, but in fact, there are tons of studies showing reishi mushroom has profound anti-cancer properties up to 90% inhibition. Imagine reishi in combination with other anti-cancer herbs and a well-rounded diet. I think a lot of people would start feeling better. You need to know about these studies before you decide that these people are right about there being no possible alternative natural treatments for cancer. I'll read off some of the conclusions of these studies for you to help you decide if you believe someone is lying to us for profit and to support biased opinions. I'm not claiming they are wrong, but I'm also not claiming they are right because scientific evidence is beginning to stack in favor of health. If you want to see these studies for yourself, then be sure to check the sources on my website. Alright, here we go. Both the lipids extracted from the germinating spores and the SBGS of G. lucidum had remarkable anti-tumor effects in a dose-dependent manner, and could significantly inhibit these tumors with an inhibition of 80 to 90%. These results indicate that G. lucidum extract has a profound activity against leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma cells, and may be a novel adjunctive therapy for the treatment of hematologic malignancies. The present findings suggest that this combination merits further investigation as a potential therapeutic agent for the treatment of cancer. This study showed that ethanol extracts of both G. lucidum and G. sinense have anti-tumoral proliferation effect through both apoptosis pathway and cell cycle arrest effect, and some other compounds such as sterols and or nucleosides may contribute to their activity besides triterpenoids. Our findings suggest that the triterpenes contained in G. lucidum are potential anti-cancer agents. These results suggest that the lucidenic acid-rich GLE could serve as a chemopreventative agent for the tumorigenesis and metastasis of highly invasive hepatoma cells. All our findings demonstrate that GAT induced apoptosis of metastatic lung tumor cells through intrinsic pathway related to mitochondrial dysfunction and P53 expression, and it may be a potentially useful chemotherapeutic agent. In conclusion, hydroxylated triterpenes from G. lucidum could be promising natural agents for the therapy of invasive breast cancers. Collectively, these results suggest that G. lucidum inhibits proliferation of human breast cancer cells and contain biologically active compounds with specificity against estrogen receptor and NF-kappa B signaling and implicate G. lucidum as a suitable herb for chemoprevention and chemotherapy of breast cancer. Thus, Ganoderma lucidum exerts its effect on cancer cells by multiple mechanisms and may have potential therapeutic use for the prevention and treatment of cancer. These results suggest that LZE has pro-apoptotic and anti-inflammatory functions as well as inhibitory effects on cytokine expression during early inflammation and colonic carcinoma cells 
which may be of significance in the use of Chinese herbal medicines for cancer prevention. Okay, that's enough studies. I think you guys get the point. Rishi mushroom has promising anti-cancer properties. The only problem is that these constituents found in Rishi supplements may vary depending on the growing stage it was in during harvest, the method used to grow it, who the mushroom supplier is, and how they prepared it. I personally prefer powdered Rishi supplements. Rishi cultivated on logs were found to contain phosphorus, silica, sulfur, potassium, calcium, and magnesium in lower amounts, iron, sodium, zinc, copper, manganese, and strontium. It was found to have small amounts of heavy metals, lead, cadmium, and mercury. No cadmium or mercury is found in wild reishi. It was also found to contain enzymes, nucleosides, and nucleotides, such as adenosine and guanosine, long-chain fatty acids, ergosterol, which is converted into vitamin D2 when introduced to the sunlight, selenium, and proteins. The proteins contribute to some of its immunosuppressive, when needed, hepatoprotective, antifungal, and antioxidant properties. Germanium is the fifth highest mineral present in reishi. It is thought that germanium restores imbalanced electrical potential in the body to a more normal state. Some claim to have heard an electrical sound running through their body, then miraculous healings afterwards. Whether that's true or not, germanium also contains immunopotentiating anti-tumor, antioxidant, and anti-mutagenic properties. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit like on this video like your life depends on it, and share this video with your friends or someone that you feel needs to know this information. Have you ever taken Rishi? Let the community know in the comments below. If you'd like to purchase Rishi and support my channel at the same time, then be sure to visit brandagoji.com and purchase reishi at my store. Oh, and remember, low-dose reishi was found to be effective, so you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars and take higher doses like a lot of salesmen are claiming. Hmm, makes you wonder why they tell you to take more reishi, doesn't it? <coughs> As always, I'm Brandon Goji, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay motivated, you urban survivors. Dancing wing tongue.